This week, something special is happening in the United Nations, the fourth Durban Conference on Combating Racism. Now, you'd think that this is a good thing, right? But the reality isn't exactly so. More than 19 countries are boycotting this conference because it's not about fighting racism, but about smearing Israel and sugarcoating anti-Semitism. Let's go back to the first Durban conference in 2001. Israel, and only Israel, was called a racist nation, accused of committing genocide and ethnic cleansing. Palestinians were referred to as the only victims in the world of racism and xenophobia, and Jewish delegates at the conference were verbally harassed while flyers circulated stating Hitler was right. All these accusations about Israel, despite the fact Israel has equality under the law for over 2 million Arab citizens, and that the Palestinians' population has massively increased every year in the West Bank and Gaza. Since then, there's been several more Durban conferences, but all with similar themes. For example, at Durban II, Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, used the conference to question the Holocaust Outrageous, right? But at Durban 3, he was invited to speak again. It's true that the UN has been accused of bias against Israel. But Durban? This is a whole new level. Is it any wonder that more countries than ever are boycotting this Durban 4? From the US to Canada, to Austria, Germany, and more, these countries have came out against the Israel obsession at Durban. Sadly, this week, some countries will gather again in New York for the festival of anti-Semitism and with the UN support as well. The Durban government is supposed to be about fighting racism, but it became an example of it.